Chapter two. Let's look at the chapter two, and mm. he—I think he's going to pick up and just carry right on mm. from what he's Certainly. been saying at the end of one. But yes. He says in verse one, "My little children, I'm writing these things to you so that you may not sin. Mm. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. He is the propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world." And by this we know that we have come to know him mm. if we keep his commandments. Mm -hmm. Whoever says, I know him, but does not keep his commandments is a liar. Mm -hmm. And the truth is not in him. Wow. But whoever keeps his word in him, truly, the love of God is perfected. By this we may know that we are in him. Whoever yeah. says that he abides in him ought to walk in the same way in which he walked. Wow. Amazing. Powerful, isn't it? Oh, a yeah. way of condensing a lot of stuff into power-packed sentences. Mm. The, uh, Very good. I like, uh, you know, he's, he's just said at the end of the first chapter, uh, if we say we haven't sinned, then we make him a liar and, and his word is not in us. I, I take that means when we've sinned and we say we haven't sinned, oh, yeah. then we're, we're making him a liar and we, uh, Absolutely. Uh, as though we could actually do that, we can't. But, yes. uh, but his word is not in us. Oh, not yes. Then in verse 3 about keeping commandments, you see, mm. it's referred to the Jewish roots oh, people yes, here. Yes, yes. When I was 20 and I was confronted in my ignorance with the Bible for the first time, really, Everybody's read this, or oh, some of us read that, keep command, there you go, Sabbath keeping. Yes, yes, this yes. must be the Ten Commandments. Mm -hmm. So here's mm -hmm. a tremendous pitfall for people. Yeah, yeah. Keeping the commandments means, in the New Covenant, keeping the commandments of the New Covenant, not the Old. Exactly. So it's no good just turning to the commandments in the Ten under Moses yeah, in the letter. That's, right. that's not what John has Absolutely. in mind. Absolutely. Very important yeah. distinction. I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and this is... Sin to us. Yes. He's, he's, yes. he's not trying to say you've sinned if you don't keep the provisions of the mosaic, uh, law. Right. The mosaic law, the mosaic law, the matters of uh, uh, the dietary restrictions Absolutely. and Very holy point. days and mm. so on. That's not what he's telling them here. No. He's telling them if you don't abide in and keep the words of Jesus, Absolutely. the word of God that God has given to him, yes. then we have missed it. Yes. Then we're walking in darkness. And Absolutely uh, right. I think we need to stress that a lot in our discussions because yes. it's not understood well. Mm. Um, we're using a lot these days the, the verse in 16, 16 of Luke, which I'll just refer to, mm. says that the law and the prophets were until John the Baptist. Mm. Mm. Then the great shift happens from John the Baptist and Jesus, whom he introduces, yes. Christianity. Yes, yes. There are a lot of people out there who've never had that uh, timetable taught them. So there's a loss when they read yes. about the commandments. Well, Absolutely. that's the Ten Commandments. Yes. Okay, I've got to keep the Sabbath on Saturday. <laughs> no, no, no. You've really not grasped the, the picture well. Yes. I like this too, Anthony, yeah. where he's, he's saying, you know, I'm writing this. Yes. The goal of this is mm. that you would not sin. No one should sin, yes. little children, as he said that. Yes. And, uh, but he said, but, now here's this amazing, mm. beautiful promise proviso, I guess. But, but if anybody does sin and yes. he realizes that will happen. Indeed. Then we have an advocate with the Father. Ah. Jesus Christ, the righteous one, I suppose. Yes. And actually, yes. And he's the propitiation for our sin. So back to that. The blood of his son, verse 7 of the mm. first chapter, the blood of his son will cleanse us from all, un, all unrighteousness. So on. But here he's saying, you know, he is the propitiation for our sins, mm -hmm. and not ours only, but for the sins of the whole world, all who will receive him, uh, I think. Uh, I'm glad yeah. that you're stressing that, because I think we need to stress that part mm -hmm. of the program. I see the word satisfaction there in my New American Standard Version mm -hmm. margin. Mm -hmm. Propitiation is a hard word for people. But yes. the satisfaction means that sin has been taken care of, clearly. Yes. And keeping the commandments, then, are the commandments of Jesus. And if you say, 
that you know Jesus, but you're disobeying him. And people read that as the Ten Commandments again. Yes, oh, Anthony, yes. you've got to be keeping the Sabbath because it says the commandments. But wait a minute. You haven't got the timetable, the great shift that takes place yes, with yes. the beginning of Messiah Absolutely. in the Spirit. Absolutely. When one cannot overstress it, we're right. finding in our correspondence yeah. with people, people don't know this. Oh, it yes. hasn't been well yeah. talked to them. Well, and if we can understand it, think about it this way. Mm. I was thinking the other day, Yeah. We we want to talk about... Jesus says, I keep his commands, yes. the commands of my Father. Yes. And then people unknowingly project onto that, say, well, he was keeping the commands of Moses. Well, no, and, and he didn't come to declare that. Uh, the, the Jewish folks already had the commands of Moses. They that did. was already going That's on. Right. What he came was to bring what his Father gave him. Absolutely. And the great distinction, I think, is that... Jesus says, I know his command. What he has given to yes. me is yes. life everlasting. That's right. That is not the command of Moses. There is no, no promise of Absolutely. life everlasting associated with all the commands of Moses. Yeah. And even That's right. then we find Paul, and we've talked about it before in Galatians, the third mm -hmm. chapter, mm -hmm. Paul is going to say to the people, you know, if a, if a law had been given through which, you know, life righteousness would come, come, right. life would yes. come then yeah. righteousness would have been by the law. He said, but that wasn't the case. A law was not given. So yes. this that Jesus is doing is distinct. His commands are different from what God gave to Absolutely. Moses. The commands Jesus has, God has given to Jesus yes. are those commands that lead to life everlasting. That's right. And that's not Moses' program. That's not it that. It cannot be too much stress. And we've traditionally talks about that eternal life is the life of the age to come which it certainly is from Daniel 12 yes yes 41 times in the New Testament from <laughs> Daniel 12 that's right people are going to be resurrected to enjoy eternal life which mm. is life forever mm. it never stops it's life indefinitely but it's literally the life of the future age of yes, the kingdom to yes, be tasted yes. now that is helpful for me mm -hmm. to understand John and his Jewish mm -hmm. background mm. I think uh, I like this too, Anthony, in uh, verse 1, where, and I think you're the first one that ever pointed this out to me, that at, at least that I've connected. Yes. yes. And that is this use of the word advocate Absolutely. with the Father. But yeah. we're here, this is not this the, which use, fifth perhaps use of the yeah. term paraclete yes. in the New Testament. It's in, in John's Gospel, yes. clearly. But the fascinating yes. thing here is that Jesus is said to be that parakletos. Yes, yes. Parakletos is a nice word. It's somebody that you call alongside to help you, yes, right? An yes. advocate. Right. So people get very confused. They say, well, I thought the this, this Holy Spirit was the parakletos. It is. <laughs> yes. Well, wait a minute. Here it says that Jesus <laughs> is... A, so we got two parakletos? I don't think so. No. And the right. very simple solution to this is that Jesus himself said, in the Gospel of John, I'm not going to leave you as orphans. I'm mm. not going to desert you, exactly. but I'm going away. That's right. Okay, well, how are we going to deal with that? You're leaving, but we're not going to be orphans. <laughs> I am coming to you as, as the Spirit exactly. now. So Jesus in the Spirit comes yes. to us after his ascension. Exactly. And he is the paracletos yeah. at that point. Exactly. Not a problem. Yeah. It's not a problem. And uh, I love it where Jesus said in, uh, in that passage in John, mm. He's saying, you know, both I and my Father, we will make our dwelling Isn't with that you, but it's by Spirit. That's and right. That's, that's, and again, that that's right. d shows us again that fellowship we have with the Son yes. is real, but by Spirit and, and the power of God's Spirit. Given. That's exactly right. This is yeah. most important because particularly some of our former Jehovah's Witness friends are very troubled by what we mm -hmm. just said. Mm -hmm. uh, there are clearly two versions of the Paracletos. One is the Spirit coming. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The other one is Jesus talking about himself of as course. coming in the Spirit. Sure. Clear to, to sure. both of us. Absolutely. Wonderful. Good. Okay. Glad you mentioned that. Mm. So I like this too. Uh, if we keep his commandments. Yes. Uh, whoever says that I know him but does <clears throat> not keep his commandments is oh, a liar. Dangerous. John had a way of not mincing words. <laughs> He's a liar, flat People out. nowadays wouldn't like him at all. They would say, oh my goodness, he's so rash and harsh. And, yeah. But actually he was just direct to the point for great and important things. Absolutely. Yeah. So. yeah, I love that. He's a liar, flat out. And you don't want to be messing with lies, do you? So <laughs> he's right. a liar. He's a liar. Yes. Yeah, that's right. This is the answer then to the worst statement of all in the, in the teaching of Jesus about many will say, mm. many will say, I tell you, 
Note the stress there. Let me tell you, many will say, in that future day of judgment, Lord, Lord, look at all the stuff we did for you. We <laughs> yeah. preached in your name, for goodness sake. Yeah. You know, I'm paraphrasing. Yes. We cast out demons in your name yeah. and did all these wonderful works for you. Get out of here. I never recognized you. <laughs> See, there should be sermons on this very often. Oh, my land, yes. And I think you've hit on, on the connection very yeah. well here. If we don't keep the commandments of Jesus, and yet we say we love Jesus, huh. we're lying to ourselves. Mm -hmm. We're deceiving ourselves. We're deceiving ourselves. That's the worst yeah. thing we want to yeah. do. And it's bad to be deceived by someone else, but when you're deceiving yourself, that's pretty <laughs> awful, don't you think? And we all do that very easily, I don't think we? So. I think so. That's quite quite a reality. So yeah. wow. But okay. it's that person who uh, and uh, I'm I'm thinking that in verse uh, five, I guess mm, it is. Yes. But that person who keeps his word, yes. in him truly the love of God is made complete, or perfected. So, uh, by this we know yeah. that we're in the light. If you, and we're in him, yes, in of him. course, and both in is the true. light, right. But uh, yes. I think, uh, isn't it wonderful, if I do not walk according to this word, though, I can't really say I'm in him. No. I can't really say I'm in no. the light. Because you can't separate, as you've said so wonderfully, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you can't separate Jesus from his word. I, think, I think, that's think that's the key. You know, we really cannot stress that yeah. too much. That is the answer to this very threatening mm -hmm. thing, that you can claim to be a Christian mm -hmm. and find out to your great distraction and disappointment that you never really were. I mean, this yeah. looks, looks oh, back goodness. to my Church of England days. I honestly can't say that our nominal church going, you know, a 10 minute sermon every Sunday, we were jolly good chap theologians. <laughs> we th thought that everybody was basically a jolly good chap. And there are, may I say, oh, sure. lots of very, very good people in and out of churches. Of I course. understand that. But somehow the truth matters to God, doesn't it? Yeah. I love the way he warms it up with the word love there, you see, because mm. truth, it sounds very doctrinal and hard. You know, <laughs> yes. But this is the love of God. Now that's a warm word. You wonder what loving God is all about. It's connected with walking in the light, one of your favorite verses there, mm. and mm. knowing and loving the truth, and keeping his word, his message, not just vaguely the Bible, mm. but clinging on to the words of the Jesus, yes. the gospel yes, word, yes. then love of God comes into play. Yeah, I like that. That softens it, doesn't it? Yeah. And has been perfected. Yeah. And that verse 6, whoever mm. says he abides mm. in him, ought to walk in the oh. same way in which he walked. But how would we know we were walking the way he walked if we did not get into his word, if we didn't look and understand the way he walked and the way that's he right. talked? Uh, you mean you should sound like Jesus. Is <laughs> yes, that right? Imagine this, that's right. Yes, you meet this person and he, you, and I say to people, you really sound like Jesus. You're talking about the gospel of the kingdom. You're so excited about one God and Messiah. You sound like Jesus. But if you don't have that language, you don't sound That's right. like Jesus. That's that could right. be a warning that you may not be walking in the light. That's exactly right. Okay. Well, <laughs> verse 7, Anthony. Mm. Behold, mm -hmm. I am writing you no new commandment, mm -hmm. but an old commandment that you had from the beginning. The old commandment is the word that you have heard. At the same time, it is a new commandment mm -hmm. that I'm writing to you, which is true in him and in you, mm -hmm. because the darkness is passing away and the true light is already shining. Whoever says he is in the light and hates his brother is still in darkness. Whoever loves his brother abides in the light and in him. There is no cause for stumbling. But whoever hates his brother is in the darkness and walks in the darkness and does not know where he is going because the darkness has blinded his eyes. Wow. wow. I think we should clarify that yep. when he says he's, he's not writing a new commandment, mm. that again, he's not talking about commandments of Moses and, and all that sort of thing. The, the commandment that Jesus gave them really was... Uh, the commandment of love and the yeah. my commandment is this that you love one another yeah. as I have loved you Absolutely. or that you would even lay down yeah. your life for one another and he does that so well because he says I'm not writing a new commandment but I am writing a but new I, commandment that's right that's a, that's a clever way to teach <laughs> Where Jesus says, my teaching is not mine. Yes. Well, what do you mean? Your teaching. <laughs> no, it comes from the Father. Yes, it's right. a, it's a, an attractive way of teaching that because yes, it grabs yes. the mind. You think, what sort of contradiction is this? Right, and it resolves right, itself. Right. So, 
So I think this is our favorite subject about yeah. the new covenant versus oh, the my old land, covenant. Yes. Well, and John, isn't it interesting? You don't think about John's writings being covenant stuff. You think about that being Paul. But yeah. Here, oh, absolutely. But John is all over it here, isn't he? And, and throughout the New Testament. And that's what's so threatening when you hear people not understanding yes. this. They're really threatening the very fabric yes, of their understanding. Absolutely. And that must be corrected. We as teachers must get this right, I think. Mm -hmm. So it's the same, actually, what you have what you brought to my attention is your verse 7 in chapter 1 there about the light. It's the same oh, yes. theme of light and yes. darkness, yes. which I, I love okay. because yeah. I've been thinking so much about how every day that dawns mm -hmm. is a pattern. Yeah. So of the kingdom. what Jesus brought is mm. actually, he brought a new command yes. to his disciples when he was teaching. You go back to the writings in John mm. and you find Jesus saying, I'm going to give you a new commandment. Yeah. Here's the commandment that you love one another. Yeah. And then he puts this proviso with it, as I have loved, loved you. you. He's brought good. love to a whole new level in this new that's covenant. That's exactly right. And that's... And that is a love in which you would give your life for one another, That's for your right. brother. And he's going to talk yes. about that again, too. So you've but. heard that it was said, but I'm telling you something yes. greater. You've got yes. to actually love your enemy. And they, yes. that was not a That's command incredible. given clearly in the Old Testament. Yes. No, this is very important. The whole thing is the idea of modulation in music. You know, you, when you go up to a higher key, you get, ooh, what's going on here? It's a lift yes. into a yes. higher realm. Yes. And, and, and if you don't understand that, as yeah. we did not, you see, we would mm. had one foot in the old yes. covenant. Yes. <laughs> and it didn't work for us. Terrible. Now yes. we know why it didn't work. That's right. <laughs> you almost get into uh, the problem of serving two masters. You, oh. have, to serve, you have to decide, are you going to serve Moses Absolutely. and his, his program, or are you going to yes. serve Jesus and the new covenant? That's and, right. Uh, the text in Acts 10, 34, 36 speaks of beginning of the preaching of the gospel through Jesus. Yes. Oh, I get it. Jesus yes. preached the gospel. Yes. So, you know, I said to the, I remember saying it so often to the students, what was going on in terms of gospel before anything yes. was even said about well, there you go. death that's and resurrection? Right. That's exactly That's right. the part that's left out. Yeah, that's right. Can't do that. And uh, Mustn't do it. I think about it this way, too. When John is writing this and he says, I bring you no new commandment, mm. he means, I'm not going to write something new to you no, here no. that you haven't heard before. No. But what Jesus had said was said to them yes. actually decades before Yes. when he said, my commandment is this, that you love one another as Absolutely. I have loved you. And the, Paul later says that love, that love um, is the fulfillment of everything the law was trying to accomplish. You're, you're exactly you know, right. That, but now so, yeah. he's writing decades later yes. to these saints. And he says, I'm not bringing anything new now. I'm just bringing you the same covenant of love yes. that Jesus required of us back in the beginnings. I love the way in verse 8 he creates a sort of apparent uh, paradox. On the other hand, I am writing a new commandment, <laughs> That's right. which is... Is true in Jesus, in Him, and in you. That's marvelous, isn't it? Yeah. I think we have to emphasize this in all of our teaching. I, I would think it should be preached as a, an underlying theme every Sunday. I, I'm getting monotonous now, but mm. it's only because I don't feel that people are fully seeing this yet. Mm. I've been reading you know, James Kennedy down there where he says, many people think the teaching of Jesus is Christianity. That's not so. <laughs> and yes, I'm sir. thinking, does he hear what he's saying? Yes. You know, and this is amazing to me, if I may so say mm. it. And these are the people who are otherwise very, very intelligent, oh, very absolutely. bright people, But they're saying things yeah. that are just absolutely a a terrible. Appalling. Oh, my land, yes. Yes. And we mm. haven't started talking about the dispensationist idea of the gospel. I've got oh, quotes so that I collect them because they're plainly saying, don't you teach the gospel of the kingdom? That's the Jews. <laughs> yes. I've got a letter that I'm oh, waiting to get back to him. He said, and this man says, Paul never preached the gospel of the kingdom. <laughs> And he's from Dallas Theological Seminary with a peer. He does. You're laughing. And, and oh he said, man. you know, I, I, he's telling me to study this properly. And I'm thinking, yeah. what's going on here? Yeah. We know we can laugh. But it is, if it wasn't so serious, that's, that's the right. problem. That's exactly right. And you're teaching people yes. that. You're teaching students that and young people that. Oh. And they're going out and meeting the world thinking, Paul didn't teach the gospel of the kingdom, which isn't. Absolute untruth. Absolute falsehood. Yes. And you can actually pinpoint oh. the verses. We do Acts 20, verses 24, 25. 24 of Acts 20 says, 
I've been preaching the gospel of the grace of God. Yes, yes. And the next verse says, yes, and right. as I went about preaching the kingdom, yes. and in evangelical textbooks, yes. you don't find that 25th verse even quoted. <laughs> it's yes. often we've said this, it's what you don't say yes. that makes you a liar. Yes, absolutely. My Systematic goodness. and aggressive. Wow. Yeah. You know, this, this idea that Paul preached the gospel of grace while Jesus preached the gospel of the <sighs> kingdom, absolute untruth. It's like taking Absolute. a pair of scissors yeah. and cutting it shredding. It's awful. I, I, yeah. I really fear for people who are caught in that. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, he's, um, mm. this is wonderful. He's, it he's, is. He's bringing them, actually, everything he's saying in this, uh, in this book mm. is about that, that, what he calls, it's no longer, it's not a new uh, no. commandment now. It's yeah. the one Jesus brought us in the beginning, yes. that we should love one another Absolutely. as he loves us. But on yeah. the other hand, it's new compared to everything else. Oh, but, yes. but but this is it's the new, lasting covenant, yeah. and I love it. New and he's going to be yeah. hammering at this. He, he, over, he, over again. he wants people to understand yeah. that. The difference between letter in the letter and the spirit. I mean, yeah. we, we have to find easy ways as teachers of saying this in one sentence. Yes. Yes. The public, you know, has a lot on his mind. That's right. Until you really work at yeah. this, they're not going to get it. So That's it's right. the difference between the letter of Moses, yes. Yes. which is gone. Yeah. Where Paul says, you know, I'll tell you, if you get circumcised in the flesh, you've lost the faith, you've thrown Jesus away. Yeah. What? Yes. You're apostate. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> stop, please, please, people, yes. stop. No, I'm absolutely I love right. the way he says it here, though. He said, you know, uh, again, as you're saying, uh, yeah. this continues about the darkness, the light. Yes. But this, this is about abiding in the Word of God that Jesus yes. brought. Yes. The, the word of life that Jesus brought. And now, as I was saying yeah. a bit ago, the, you know, uh, Moses did not come to the people and say, hey, everybody, God so loved the world <laughs> that he gave, no. his, or he's going to give his only begotten son. The, that no. message was not a part of no, this. No. Can we get no. that in our minds? Exactly Jesus right. brought this word of life. Yes. The word that actually brings life, the commands that actually bring life. Absolutely. But that was not what Moses no, no. did. It's not what Moses. Moses was a great guy. Yes. He did what God asked him to do. Exactly. But God did not ask him to do what He asked His son no. to do. Moses did not bring commands that brought life, eternal yeah. life. You're exactly you know. right. Oh I my goodness! This is, is a very central theme. I had not noticed. I'll, I'll, I'll confess. The extent to which he goes on with the light and darkness down there in mm. verse 11, we're getting to it. He's still talking about the darkness, walking in darkness. You don't know where you're going because you're blind. Yes, wow. I mean, he couldn't pile it on more when you think about that. Wow. Yeah. It's something, yeah. It is really something very the, concentrated. The darkness has blinded his mm. eyes. I'm, uh, that's amazing. Yes, the darkness blinds his eyes. In other words, you're spiritually blind mm -hmm. unless, it, unless you get clear what mm -hmm. John is teaching you. Well, this is wonderful. Mm, it is wonderful I love stuff. It here. Yeah. And. Uh, so it is. It is a new commandment, but it wasn't yes. new in the in the sense new to these people because no. they've been hearing this message now for decades. By the time John wrote this letter, maybe toward the end of the, the end of the century, of that first right? century, maybe. We, I like that know. word stumbling. In fact, it's a scary word in verse ten. There, there's no cause of stumbling. You know, I, I think in the Gospels where he speaks about it, if you cause somebody to stumble, you might as well put a millstone around oh, your neck. And yes. This is serious business. The judgment is serious. Oh. Yes. So yeah. stumbling is the, must, the thing that we mustn't allow ourselves or anybody else mm. to do. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Now that takes you nicely then to verse 12 or so, doesn't it? It is indeed. Yeah. I love this. This, mm. uh, this is in refrain here in mm. uh, the way this translation handles it, but yes. it's beautifully, uh, beautifully stanza if you will. It is. But uh, yes. verse 12, 12, I am writing to mm. you, little children, mm. because your sins are forgiven mm. for his name's sake. Mm -hmm. ah. mm. Verse 13, I am writing to you, fathers, because you know him who is from the beginning. Mm -hmm. I am writing to you, young men, because you have overcome the evil one. Mm -hmm. I'm writing to you children because you know the Father. I write to you fathers because you know him who is from the beginning. Mm -hmm. I write to you young men because you are strong 
and the word of God abides in you. Yes. And you have overcome the evil one. Wow. Ah. <laughs> Everybody gets a mention. The devil is there, right? The evil one, right? <laughs> That's right. He's yeah. not in any doubt about the existence oh, of goodness. the personal devil. My goodness. Yeah. That's amazing. I love the tenderness here, don't you, little children? I love my little that ones, too. beloved. Yeah. I mean, this is yeah. a fatherly figure. Oh, it is uh, indeed. The real essence of it. And uh, I was just thinking, he's, he's, a, he's addressing adults yes, uh, he is. in this. And little yet children. He's, he's speaking to them as he would to children. Children. Absolutely, I love that. young men. And then he, different categories, the young men and the older people. You know the Father, of course, that immediately reminds of John 17, 3. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, verse that somebody ah. told me the other day how every morning that goes through his mind, he wakes mm. up, you, Father, are the only one who is the true God. That should put an end to all arguments. Oh, my goodness, yes. And, and that, that's exactly yeah, where he's at here, yes. isn't it? Oh, yes. You know the Father. Isn't this wonderful? Absolutely. Oh, my goodness. And the Word of God, there's that gospel word, you see, yes. strong. The Word of God, which I repeat, is not just a synonym for the Bible. It's the kingdom gospel mm -hmm. word of mm -hmm. salvation mm -hmm. that they call the Word of God, the message. Mm -hmm. And it abides in you. Mm -hmm. And I you overcome that. the devil. They say, well, yeah. overcome the devil? Well, you better get the word of the kingdom in your heart yes. and have it abiding in yes. you. Yes. Yeah. I wow. love it. Where, uh, and that this is the, the measure of your strength. You young yes. men, you're strong. Absolutely. Because the word of God abides in absolutely. you. Absolutely. Remains like in you. It lives in you. That's I love the that. linchpin. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Preaching must never become vague, nebulous, and unclear because mm. the people are just wasting their time sitting no. there listening. I My think. goodness, yes. Okay, wow. that's great. So we're into verse 15 or so. Verse 15. Mm. Let us continue. Oh, wow. Do not love the mm. world or the things in the world. Mm. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in wow. him. My goodness. For all that is in the world, the desires of the flesh and the desires of the eyes and the pride and possessions, mm. is not from the Father, mm. but is from the world. Wow. And the world is passing away mm -hmm. along with its desires. But whoever does the will of God abides forever. Oh. Wow, he's changed the topic, hasn't he? Very interesting. Yes. Beware of the world, means the present evil system. Yes. Mm -hmm. Watch out. If anyone loves the world, then he cannot love yeah. the Father. Yes, Black, yes. And white. Black and white, mm -hmm. isn't it? Mm -hmm. Completely. Yes. Not waffly, not vague, not mm. both thing, not mm. both and, but yeah. either or. The world is passing away. That catches my ear, Dan. Yeah. You know, people talk about passing away, meaning they've died. Yes. Well, yes. you want to use the word passing away correctly. Yeah. Nothing to do with death. You don't pass away when you die. You die. You yes. know, it reminds you you're going to be resurrected. <laughs> but the world is passing away. It's disappeared. It's going yeah. out of uh, business eventually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, it's lust. Isn't that true? It's all about sex and money and greed and possessions, isn't mm -hmm. it? An abuse oh. of this world and this life. It is. Yeah. Abuse. Yeah. Exactly right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, That's don't true. you get tired of the advertising? <laughs> oh, my I goodness. I get tired of it. Oh, I know land, you have yes. to do it, but my <laughs> goodness. Possessions, yeah. possessions. This this reminds uh, me of Paul in uh, what Galatians one and four, I think yes. it is, where he says, you know, this present evil, evil world, age. absolutely, it's passing away. It's, it's, it's moving way off out. the scene. You, so we don't want to invest ourselves deeply no. in something that's no. transitional, no. transitory. Uh, absolutely. You know, but no. and it's okay. we yeah. for goodness sakes. Uh, He's saying, if you love the world, mm. the love of the Father is not in you. Now, this is one of those things where you have to have perspective in, in picturing what the writer, his frame of reference is, yeah. because you have him in John 3.16 saying, God loved the world. Yes. Well, we're to love the world in that yes, sense, yes, in the yes. same way. But not the things but not of the world. These, not the frame of mind That's he has right. here, where you're talking about the lust of the yeah. flesh and the evil drives and the desires and the, all of these things that are so inappropriate. And, and will but, kill the spirit. Right? Yes. Destroy your spiritual Absolutely. life. Yes. These things are passing away. Wow, that's, that's powerful. So don't invest, invest in something transitory. Mm. And uh, mm. so we should live our lives here wisely and rightly yeah. and carefully, I think. Oh, but I think realizing so. that this is just a short moment and mm -hmm. that that is to come is what it's really all about. It's exactly yeah. right. I was mentioning uh, Galatians 1 and 4. Yes, the uh, present uh, evil age. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, it's temporary. Don't invest yeah. in what's temporary. That's very no. short sighted. Right? Very, very yeah. short sighted. Exactly yeah. right. The so let us live age. well, not as abusing this world, mm -hmm. but as using it rightly absolutely. and properly. Absolutely.